Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tech Super channel. Today in this video, I am going to show how to create a new data set based on a SQL query in Oracle Business Intelligence. So there are various ways to create a new data. There are various ways to create a data set, for example, SQL query, the CSV based, Excel based, and various other sources you can use to write your data set. But in this video, I'm going to show specifically how to create a data set based on a SQL query. So guys, before we start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. So let's begin and see how to how do I create a new data set data set <clears throat> based on a SQL query. Right. So let me log in into into my uh, SAS instance and you need to go to this analytics and from here you go to the catalog. From the catalog page, from the catalog page, select uh, on on a particular uh, particular uh, folder where you actually would like to create the data set. For example, I have created a folder called AJ and then DM, and from that, click here on this button or click on this data model, or you can click here on a create button and then click on a data model. So you can use any one of the options to create data model. So click on a data model, which will take you onto the page from where you can generate your data model. And here you can see, you can see the plus button and that plus button will show you the sources which can be used to generate your uh, data uh, model. So here use SQL query as of now and which will open, which will allow you to enter a name, let's say employee data set. And here you can choose the data source, uh, BI catalog, uh, FSCM, financial supply, ch supply chain, human capital and CRM. I will choose this uh, HCM for now and I will use type of SQL is SQL query. So here you can write any query, let's select, Let's say select uh, uh, sys date from from well. So it will create a data set which will give you the sys date, sorry. Which will fetch the dates from a dual table. So you can write any query you would like to perform. So let me enter one query that I have here this one. So I'm selecting the data from two tables per all people F and per person F. Okay. And we'll get those columns and click on OK. When you click on OK, you can see your, your complete uh, a model like person ID, all the columns that you have given in your query, person ID, person number, person name, ID, title, first name, last name, middle name, known as full name. So everything is here. So you can go to the structure. So this is how the structure looks like in tree view, like the data DS, data structure model, G1, group one, and person ID, person name, everything is here. So these are the column name of your, uh, uh, I will say, these are the columns name coming from the, uh, these are the table column name. These are the XML tag name. These are the display name. If you would like to change, you can change it. You can also, Okay, and it represents the type of data. Now go to the data and here you can see the data in a tree view or a table view mode. Okay, so you have to click on a view. So it will show you the five records. So from the UI, you can limit the number of records you would like to fetch. Let's say 10. And you can go to the table view that will show the data in a table view. You can get up to 200 reports at a time, but it's a UI limitation, but there may be a thousands of records that will not show every thousand records on this page view. It will show you all 200 records here. So this is how you can create a data set based on a SQL query. You can save. 
when you save it it will ask the information where you would like to save it so here you can choose your folder aj dm and let's say dot ds and okay that's it and here you can say it's saved so this is how you can create a data model very easily in bi i hope you find this uh, video useful if yes please like comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get regular updates so you can follow me on linkedin twitter instagram facebook and pinterest thank you for watching the video have a good day bye bye